Hey there, besties. We got another video by way of our friend Big Hawk doing the damn thing. Please consider following him where we have this black woman's message to the Democrat Party as we watch people crash the F out over Cam Cam and looking like it may be a loss for her. Whoo, these people is wilding out. They are crashing out and it's crazy to watch these pro blacks and everything that they're doing all in the name of an alleged black person child. You cannot make this ish up. Hi, I wanted to um, address the attacks on black men. And we have seen like in the last two months, all of the entertainers, all of the uh, professional athletes, and now they pulled out their big gun, President Barack Obama. These are people who are so removed from the average black man, but yet and still, they feel, still feel that they have the right to come and attack black men. They're not attacking white men. They're not attacking Hispanic men, Muslims, Jews, anybody, just black men. Now, let's go back in history so that we can try to make you understand why we are so incensed that you feel that you have a right to attack, attack our black men. Now, there are many black women that think it's all right to attack black men because you've taught them over the last three or four hundred years that also we don't have a right to defend our men and to stand with black men. But I'm going to take you back. Let's go back to 1824. 1824. Black men were slaves, and this is what they did. They had black overseers on plantations. They got those overseers to beat black men unmercifully when they did not obey Massa. Black men, overseers, okay? Then, let's go up to 1924. Then they had their little organization where they wore the white hoods and the white hats, and they did all of this to black men. All of the lynchings that you saw in the South, they did that to black men. Understand that. Now let's take it back up to 2024. You get black athletes that black men love, that black men used to support and buy their jerseys. I think that they still will support them, ma'am, unfortunately, fortunately, however you want to look at it. But I need black people to take a step back and see what the heck is going on with regard to this. Some people would just sweep it under the rug and be like, it's just politics. That just That's just how it goes. No, that's not what's going on. What this woman is saying is absolutely right. There are people within the community that think that they are their overseers of others, specifically black men. And I'm pretty sure that any adult don't need no overseer. Why is it that they ain't overseeing they damn kids. I'm going to keep saying that. I know I'm a white supremacist talking white supremacist talking points, but if you can come up out of your stupid shell and listen to what and see what's going on, then maybe there would be some hope. But at this point, ain't nobody that can be trusted. Shout out to Cat Williams. Curses and buy tickets to their games. Steph Curry, Magic Johnson, how dare you insult black men by talking down to them and telling them who they must vote for. Magic Johnson, you should be ashamed of yourself. Then, if that wasn't enough, they pull out the big gun. Let's go get the big black man. Now, this black man was the president of the United States. When he needed black men, and he came to all of the black fraternal organizations, all of the black churches, saying how much he was going to do for black men, all the black men supported him. Now, look at what's happened. Black men are not voting for Kamala Harris because she imprisoned so many black men for minor infractions like weed possession. That is why they're not voting for her. They're also not voting for her because when they go to the grocery store, they cannot even buy a whole meal for their families for under $100. They cannot pay for car insurance or buy a new car for their 16-year-old because of what has happened in the last three and a half years. They cannot buy homeowner's insurance because it's gotten so expensive that they can't afford it. So Barack Obama, when you sit there in your castle looking down on, on the black men that put you in office, you remember who put you there. Those were black churches that you went to, black deacons, black stewards that were supporting you. And now you turn your back on them and you become one of the overseers. When they told you to go and talk to black men like they were your slaves, you should have said, no way. They 
These are the men that back me. That's what you should have said, Barack Obama. That's what you should have said, Magic Johnson, Steph Curry, uh, LeBron James. All of you should have said, it is no way. There is not enough money on the planet for me to turn on black men. You understand that. So for the black women who have who has always supported black men, I say, leave black men alone. They are free to do whatever they want to do. And you are not superior to them. Well, I would definitely agree with what this woman has said. I wouldn't just hold it to just black women who are acting like they run something around here, but all these boule, all these D9, all these black people, all these black men, all these black entertainers, all these black athletes to come out here and be so disrespectful, especially when a lot of them are male and to act this way. I just don't understand. I did not hear what Steph Curry said, Steph Curry, whatever the hell his name is, Magic Johnson, we heard heard and magic johnson having the audacity and the nerve to talk about what black men should do when his son child let me keep on going but these people i don't know who in the hell died and made them in charge of the black race but they can all kiss my ass and go to hell because i'm sick of them thinking that they run something I'm sick of them thinking that they run something. These people don't listen to anyone, but they daggone selves. All these millionaires, I will beg you all to remember this. While they out here talking about racism and everybody's a racist and white people this and white people that and Jim Crow and redlining and everything else, they're all self-made millionaires. All of these people is the thing. Every single last one of them. Who came from money that I'm not aware of, Bueller? Who of all these black people that are running off at the mouth telling you all, because these niggas ain't talking to me, but telling you all what you can't do, what you can't have, how it works, what Donald Trump going to do to you, what whoever going to do to you, what you can't get, how you can't get it, and the ways that you aren't able to get it. And yet they was able to get it. They were able to get out here and become millionaires and trillionaires. And now they think those are the elitists at the end of the day. While you dummies be sitting up here talking about me, those are the actual elitists that think that they're better than anyone daggone else. They they think that they are better than anyone else, especially if you black more so than what it is that you think that I am. I don't be telling y'all what to do. Y'all do what you want to do. I don't give a damn. You word vomit on that on internet. We're going to talk about you. That's not me telling you what to do. They are the ones that are telling you what to do. And I don't understand how many of people can't see it. Specifically, you colored. Shout out to everybody who is here, but you know, I'm talking to black people because I'm a black woman. I know y'all hate it. I'm a real black woman. I hate that we even have to go here with that. I am a real full 100% black woman. I can say that I can talk this shit and I can back it the fuck up. Cam can't even do that. And, and to think that Obama still ain't apologized, what are we, two weeks in now? So he just don't give one damn. Who the fuck does he think he is? I'm tired of everybody that thinks that they can tell somebody else what to do. You got all these people in the community that got all this knowledge and ain't trying to do shit with it, but try to boss somebody around. Her with her analogy of the overstander, overtaker, whatever she said, the overseer of the slaves, is exactly what these people think they are. Ricky, Roland, Steve Harvey, all them, fuck them motherfuckers. What we should be doing is not putting our money with them anymore. Now, I'm talking about radio, sports, all of it. Remember this shit, just like she said, remember this mess because they need us more than we need them. What do we need those people for, Bueller? What do we need any, what do we need Angela Rye for? What do we need Charlemagne for? What do we need DL Hughley for? Not a GD thing, but enough of y'all will still go back to them after they done disrespected you after they done told y'all what's what I promise you. If, if a Montgomery boycott was done with regard to all those people, they would turn around and apologize then. I promise you they will turn, change that tune real quick. But they know that you colors will continue to support them and listen to them and follow them and give you their, give them your hard-earned money, and then they're going to come out here and be disrespectful and talk to you any old way. I don't give a damn if it's football, basketball, baseball, rap, singing, nah, none of it. I don't need none of them. You heard? Not nah, none of them. Because I don't recall LL Cool J coming out here to tell me shit. I don't recall Salt and Pepper coming out here to tell me shit. So I can continue continue to listen to them. Eric B and Rocky, I'm not near none of them. Y'all go ahead and let them people continue to play in your face, call you crap, then act like they care for you. 
I've always said these people don't care for you. They care for the daggone bottom dollar. That's all they care about. And that's what all this is about in addition to symbolism. Wait till she loses. That's it. That's all. Like this video. Y'all know what to do. I see y'all in the next one. They know better than to feed me anything um, because I do not care.